Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Henry Owona Coaching Program. The main purpose of this program is to hold your hand and follow the steps that I've followed for the past seven years. As a matter of fact, for the past three years, for example, uh, I'm taking three years because it's in 2019 that I was able to make my first million in this journey. And for the past three years, if I have to accumulate, I have to sum up everything that I've been able to accumulate, prosper, business, digital marketing, everything I do, I can sum it up to almost 35 million francs within the last three years which is averagely around 12 million per year. So my goal in this mentorship program is to help those who have never yet been able to have their first million cash or in their bank account cash, one million. Those who have never been able to achieve that. The first goal is to make sure within the next 12 months, I help you achieve that. Number one, then number two, for those who have been able to, uh, to earn one million already in their life, then my goal would be to help them make five million within the next 12 months. And those who have made five million, the goal would be to, make, to help them get 10 million within the next 12 months. And how are we going to achieve that? We are going to focus on three main points, very, very vital points. When it comes to this journey of success, to success. Point number one, we are going to work a lot on your personal productivity and your mindset. When I talk about personal productivity, I'm talking about the secrets or the strategies that you can implement in order for you to become more productive as an individual. Then, mindset. We are going to work on building the right mindset for success because there's a specific mindset successful people have and there's a specific mindset how successful people have so how do you build the right mindset for success because i strongly believe there is a formula for success there's a specific formula and the first element in that formula is the right mindset right mindset right mindset is the first element in this formula then once you are able to build your mindset by first of all reprogramming yourself by first of all re-educating yourself remember for the past years of your life if you are 30 years today for the past 30 years of your life you have, been, you have been programmed to think in a specific manner from day one starting from the education you got from your parents starting from what the church has been teaching you then moving to what school has taught you as well see when we were in school we had textbooks we had exams to pass and all the process we went through during our educational journey has a specific programming and that programming was to make sure you become an employee i'm not saying that employment is bad it's actually the first step in this journey i was an employee like you two years ago so it's a very crucial and important step but we need to dream big than that so, the second thing you have to work on, make sure you reprogram everything. And how do you do that practically? Number one, read personal development books that are going to help you reprogram your mind. For example, The Power of Positive Thinking by uh, Benson Norman. This is the book that can help you in reprogramming your mind in reprogramming your thoughts because remember in the beginning was the word what got power 
So the words you speak out, what you have in your mind, in your thoughts, affects your feelings. And your feelings consequently affect your actions. So you need to reprogram this. And how to, uh, the power of positive thinking is going to help you a lot in that. Then number two, the book that I recommend strongly, The Richest Man in Babylon. Read that book also. The Magic of Thinking Big. The Billionaire Mindset by Mr. Tucker Samuel. This is a book that can actually help you a lot in programming your mind for success. Then, apart from reading, make sure you attend personal development training programs like the VIP weekend that are coming very soon in Boya in the 26th of August to the 28th. These are very powerful events that are going to help you reprogram your mind for success. Because you are going to meet successful people, you are going to be billionaires, and they are going to uncover to you the secret of success. So these are the type of events you need to attend in order to build your mindset. And one thing you can do: follow those who are crushing it in entrepreneurship, Elon Musk, like the Robert Kiyosaki, like these great, great people. That are making it big time in this journey. Follow them on their different social media handles. Watch their videos if they got some. If they have written some books, read those books as well. Remember when I was in I was reading philosophy some years ago. There was a very powerful love. The love cause and effect. It states for every effect, there's always a cause. It means in other words, if you want to be successful, just watch what successful people are doing and start doing what they are doing. And without you knowing, very soon, you start having the type of result they are having. The law of cause and effect. So these are some tools that you can use in order to reprogram your mindset for success. Then once you have been able to reprogram your mindset, it's not enough. Because I know a lot of people that have the good mindset, that believe in themselves, they are positive, they believe in God, all those things you can imagine. But yet, they are broke like crazy. They are always in need of urgent 5K, like the Boyagas. Yeah, why? Because even though they have the right mindset, they don't have the right skill set. And that is the second element, right, the right skill set. The right skill set. Work on developing a high income skill. For example, digital marketing is a high income skill. Decide to learn maybe a software. It can be, it can be graphic design like Photoshop, for example. It can be in the insurance, learn an app. Also, let's learn something practical. Go and get a skill in Cameroon, in Africa, as a whole. And our educational system is too much theoretical. So, your degree is not a guarantee that you're going to succeed. That's why, after school, or for those who are even smarter while you're still in school, Practical skill already. Learn something practical that you can do. Practical. I just said some minutes ago you can learn you can learn a software. You can learn coding, for example. You can learn programming. You can learn web development. Start building websites. I said some few minutes ago you can learn Photoshop, for example. This is high income. You can design professional flyers for companies and if you are very good at it very soon money is going to kill you yes so learn a skill and the only way for you to learn a skill is to train attend professional training programs very soon i'm launching the digital marketing academy 
where we are going to give you practical skills on digital marketing like social media management like copywriting like content creation like online ads like chatbot marketing and oh, i'm talking of high income skill as well if you know how to set chatbots on websites on uh, facebook pages company will be paying you high so there are a lot of skills just identify one that goes with your talent now because remember nothing great in this world can be achieved with that passion nothing great in this world can be achieved with that sacrifice so identify your talent your god-given potential then start developing them start working on them and very soon your talent gonna take you places so develop a skill set the skill training identify one training program and learn it you can learn how to liquid soap for example you can learn for example there are things you can learn then the right skill set is not enough because i know talented people in their respective domains but yet they are very lazy they're scrolling on social media throughout the day they're sleeping watching tv they're not taking any specific action nothing is going to happen even though you have the right mindset you have the right skill set if you are not taking the right actions and that is the third factor right actions nothing is going to happen in your life nothing at all you'll be sleeping with your talent with your skills in your home scrolling on social media on whatsapp statuses wishing people happy birthday telling hey nice girl nothing will happen and very soon before you know it's already 10 p.m. you are going to bed so the right action what are usually called the income producing activities before you embark into any activity ask yourself is this thing gonna pay me yes if the answer is no please don't go and spend your time there so the formula for success is the right mindset plus the right skill set plus the right action if you're an employee you should go to your go to the office just sit there strolling on whatsapp on facebook nothing productive and you not do the right things you cannot succeed in that domain so the right action once you do this it close to success and that's the formula now once you have been able to understand these principles this formula the next thing i'm going to help you in reprogramming that practically remember the invisible war create the visible war nothing happened in the physical world that has not yet happened in the invisible world and that's why you see these great people always saying all the time life is spiritual in other words life is invisible it happens in the invisible world first so let's see how to go about that there's this chat i know i learned it from robert kiyosaki as well he said basically there are four wars four different you have here the physical war the world we are living into right now you can touch the walls you can touch this bullpen i'm holding now you can touch your sitter you can touch your girlfriend or your wife or whatever i mean the physical world and apart from the physical world we have the mental war mental i discussed this some few minutes ago on the power of thinking and i said in the beginning was the word genesis everything starts from there how have you programmed a mental if nothing happened here there's nothing gonna happen there 
nothing at all. Then apart from the mental war, we have the emotional war. Emotional. Emotions are a very powerful tool when it comes to producing fruits in the physical world. Because if you are angry, maybe you went and opened your boyfriend's phone and you saw some funny messages there from other girlfriends and this got you angry you would be able to work on that day because you'll be tormented you'll be disturbed and you'll be unproductive meaning there'll be no food for that day that's why we all say in psychology learn to control your emotions learn to control your anger because anger is one word shot from danger if you remove the v of the danger you are remain with you are left with anger so learn to control that even happiness happiness is even dangerous too so your emotions they affect your productivity then the spiritual war a spiritual life affects your productivity i have a friend He's actually a Muslim. He owns a big supermarket here in Wala. And one thing that affects his results is that, as you know, there are certain products that Muslims don't sell. Because these products are Aram. For example, pork meat. For example, alcohol. So see, even if you tell that guy that my brother if you start selling pork meat tomorrow you will become a billionaire in dollars the guy will tell you my brother i'm not interested so the guy will prefer to remain broke than to sell pork meat or alcohol in the supermarket openly huh? are you seeing how the spiritual war has impacted on the fiscal war so if you want to succeed in this journey it's important that you reprogram all this mental emotional and spiritual before be, before you'll be able to get some fruits here in the physical world it's just like a plant a plant with roots and with fruit here and branches So the plant here, the root here, the, the invisible parts of the plant, you can't see them. Just like the invisible world, the mental, the emotional and the spiritual, you can't see because you can't touch. You can't touch your thoughts. You can't touch your emotions. You can't touch your spiritual life. So they're the roots of your life. They're invisible. Because see with the root, they're into the soil. So you can't see them. But guess what? The roots are the one supporting the whole plant. So if the root is bad, the fruit is going to be bad. If the roots are healthy, then the fruit is going to be healthy as well. So the problem with most people is that in life, they would like to change the fruit, the results they are getting in the physical world. Meanwhile, they haven't changed the roots. Meanwhile, they haven't changed this. They haven't even programmed this. And until you are able to go back to the roots and change, like the root of this plant, if you want to bear more healthy fruit, maybe let's say this is a mango tree, if you want, you want more healthy mangoes, make sure you put fertilizers here on the roots. Make sure you put water here on the root so that the root will be healthy. And if the root is healthy, then you are going to bear healthy fruit as well. Same thing in our normal life. These are the roots. These three parts. Mental, emotional, and the spiritual. They are the roots. 
So if you want to change your current situation, if you want to change the result you are having now, if you want to change the income you are having now, you want to start any extraordinary income, like any 10 million within one week, make sure you change this first. Until you are able to change this, nothing will happen. You will keep struggling in life. And you start up very soon, you start accusing village people. Meanwhile, your spiritual war, your emotional war, your mental war is still very wrong. When I understood this, I got deep into personal development. When I understood this, I got deep into contemplation, into meditation, into research to understand how my mental world functions, to understand how to take control of my emotion and not allowing emotion to take control over me. Then I understand how I have to uh, draw my spiritual life. I don't believe in anything. Even when I go to church, I know where to stand. I know what to do and what not to do. I know exactly which are the, which are, what are the barriers that the church can maybe keep me away from success. Especially here in Africa. You see, churches are everywhere. I have nothing against the church. I'm a born again Christian. I have nothing against the church. But please, don't go and spend the whole day, the whole night in church. You have to walk. You see, there are some moms, they will spend the whole Saturday. The children are home, they haven't eaten. They are in church. What? What are you doing? And you see how this is going to actually affect us? So, ladies and gentlemen, let's be more conscious and let's take the commitment today that I must start building my roots. I need to start reprogramming. It's going to take time. It will happen overnight because remember, behavior are very stubborn once you have developed one certain behavior one attitude it becomes very difficult to change it but when you are, at least when you are aware that these are my weaknesses this is where the cause of my poverty is coming from you see already So in the next section, we begin building the right mindset. I'm going to tell you step practical exercise. I'm ending this session. I want to give assignment. I want you to wait the power of positive thinking by Vincent Norman is an American pastor. If you need this book, get to my inbox immediately after watching this video. I send you the free the ebook. Read that book, then do a summary of that book, and pick one or two things that you are going to improve the next day. So. Let's be ourselves for the second session. That will be probably next week. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.